Today, Joe and I are talking about long distance relationships. Because so obviously, we were in one for quite a while. Kim's and American. It, Kim's American, by the way. If you I'm didn't. British. Difference. And it was it was quite difficult for quite a long time. Yeah. Being in that long distance relationship, and we know that lots of people are in long distance relationships, and they really struggle. And it is something that doesn't always work out for the best. So yeah, we're just gonna talk about it. Yeah, um, we've kind of picked some key points that we think are worth talking about um, with problems that people have had, we had, um, in our in our long distance relationship and how we kind of got overcome, overcame them. Um, some things we couldn't, um, apart from just going, this is the way it is, and dealing with it. Um, Skype. 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 Which takes us nicely onto technology, as <laughs> uh, the first point. Um, dodgy internet connections, that was a problem. Um, relying on Skype. Yeah, Skype in general. While it's one of the only things that you can use to communicate. I mean, obviously for a while we used we used MSN, didn't yeah, we? And MSN then Messenger, it was cool. bought out by Skype. So we just kind of ended up having to use Skype. And none of us liked, neither of us liked it. And it never really worked out that well for us. You know, you always get the blurry face and the weird robotic voice yeah. sound. And it was just really difficult to to talk every day. I know there were several times where we just kind of... Gave up? Gave up, yeah. Which, obviously, it wasn't ideal because we wanted to talk to each other. That was the kind of the whole point of being on Skype together because we wanted to talk together. Um, but, I mean, on, on the flip side, there are certain things that we did find that worked for us, um, communication-wise. Um, so, on a good day, when Skype was working, um, we would manage to watch TV shows together at yeah, the same time. Yeah, we had our shows. Stuff. Walking Dead, which we stopped watching. Almost as uh, soon as we were together. Yeah. <laughs> so. What else did we watch? Oh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. We still watch that. Yeah. And True Blood as well for a while. Yeah, we, we did. That. Yeah. We, um, we didn't watch the final season, which I feel like we probably should sometime. Yeah, probably should. But yeah, I mean, so stuff like that, that works technology-wise. Um, and... Obviously, we, we still suffer from a shitty inter internet connection now, <laughs> even though we're together. Um, but that's and it's still different... difficult because I still have to use it to talk to my family back in the States, so... Still having to deal with Skype. Fun but not as much, so yeah. I can handle it. <laughs> um, I, I think with technology, that's probably one of the main problems, is that if your internet isn't working, then you aren't talking. Um, you know, you can text, you can call, and then at the same time, other parts of technology are going to spoil your relationship um, because you don't have any control of what happens on them, like Facebook, mm, stuff like Facebook. that, Twitter, and it's things. It's kind of you. Your life's out there for people to look at, and you never have any control over what people post, um, and that kind of creates worries, doesn't it? It does, especially when you don't have that face-to-face. Time, you you know, we're living together and we see each other every day and we can talk to each other. So if something happens and someone posts something on Facebook about one of us, we kind of know what it's about. But when we were apart, we didn't have that. So something might happen and I don't know. You'd see a picture and <laughs> you start to worry because you don't have you don't have that time mm. together. There's I mean, always doubt and worry and frustration. Yeah, I mean, you don't always talk to each other about the same stuff. Um, for example, when we're, we're together, and now we're together, um, if we talk about things like, I'll talk about work, I'll talk about people at work, and it's, the, all these people become usual names that you get used to hearing, and then other times you'll, there might be like, oh, this person, I know this person from this. And you know exactly, you know it's right, and you've heard it before as opposed to if suddenly this, this name has popped out of nowhere and it's like, who's that? It's like, oh, it's no way this is going to be explained well over Skype or, or by messaging. Yeah. And having to communicate just by messaging. That's it's not a good one. Mm. You can't tell... Emotion. Emotion, tone. tone. You can't always read what the other person's thinking. Yeah. 
there's no expression to it and there's no feeling either. Um, the words might be might be lovely or really pissed off, but actually they're not. Yeah. Like saying, oh, that's a fucking joke, but it's a joke. Like you could actually be being quite comical about it, I suppose, as opposed to being like, that's a fucking joke, example. Anyway, moving yeah. on from that, I don't need to explain, <laughs> uh, you know, the modern day social media and the effects it has on communication. That's possibly someone else's book. Um, time zones. Time zones. Time zones. We were, what, six hours apart at the worst yeah. when I lived in Chicago, and then five. And five hours. At best. Which was still, it's five hours, you know, I'm I'm getting ready to go to bed and it's yes. middle of the afternoon for you. And that was, that was pretty crap. Um, same time that, you know, you would have just got up and I would have been up for hours. Yeah, I found myself staying awake at weird hours hoping to be able to talk to him. Just, you know, for a few minutes here and there where we would have caught each other kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, there were some times where I'd, I'd get up in the get up in the morning and you'd be online still. And I'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> that was really when confused. I lived in Chicago and never slept. Yeah. Um, but that was, that was kind of... That was always nice for us, but it wasn't healthy, particularly. No, definitely wasn't. Um, and at the same time, I mean, with that, you're kind of chained to a computer to talk to each other, or or a smartphone, and you didn't have one. I didn't have a smartphone, no. So it made it, it made it really difficult to talk. Um, mm. But yeah, um, sorry, time zones. Yeah, time zones. Um, communication. Um, I mean, we've already spoken about that already, pretty much. Um, the main thing is be honest. And open with each other and if you have a problem talk yeah even if it's something it's a minor. little bit different clive stop it wait psh, little shit bag clive's chewing on zippers i will throw something at your head so yeah but yeah um it's a little bit different being in a long distance relationship and talking to someone because you kind of have to, you have to say more, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. not like you can just rely on that person being there all the time to kind of know what's going on. You really have to communicate and communicate well. Explain because, yourself. Yeah, a lot can get left out and that causes a lot of confusion and hurt feelings where there didn't necessarily need to be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I'd just say my, my top bit of advice to anyone in a long, long distance relationship is if you have a problem, tell the other person, explain it clearly, carefully, and um, honestly. Yeah, and I'd never say. judge the other person because never put blame on them for something that, you know doesn't necessarily fall under their control because there is a lot of you can't control it you can't control what's happening you can't control the internet and yeah it's frustrating but you can't let that get you angry and upset because and it's frustrating for both of you as well yeah that's the, the remembering that's that the big thing 